Timeshare, Condominium, Referral Chains Timeshare is a unique, and very interesting concept. Welcome to a new learning session. Barnsdale Hall Hotel, UK, Timeshare Lodges On the grounds of the Best Western Hotel are a number of timber, A-frame chalets. A snip of the syllabus, for the first semester. Syllabus first semester, and C-H-M-C-T-A-N. Definition and types of timeshare, referral chains and condominiums. Classification of timeshare. Types of accommodation and their size. Advantages and disadvantages of timeshare. International and national brands of timeshare. How is it different from hotel business? What is timeshare concept? A timeshare, or time sharing, is a form of vacation ownership. In the most traditional form, when you buy timeshare, you essentially purchase the right to vacation one week every year at a specific timeshare resort. The weekend room type of vacation may be chosen by the buyer and price of that time period depends on the strength of demand. Higher the demand, greater are the prices. A screenshot of the simple calculation. What is timeshare? A timeshare is a property, with unique form of ownership or user rights. These properties are typically resort condominium units, in which multiple parties hold rights to use the same property, but each sharer is allotted a specific period of time, typically one week, and almost always the same time every year, in which they may use the property. Attraction of a timeshare Timeshare properties are more spacious and better equipped. They offer more flexibility than typical vacations, and include options for points-based memberships, and biennial usage. Additionally, Many timeshare purchases come with the ability to exchange your vacation week, for a week at another resort, a choice to gift or rent it out, making timeshare a great option for many travelers. Timeshare is available only in leisure or holiday resorts and hotels. Now, cruise liners and yachts are also being sold as timeshare options. Cottages or villas are popular timeshare resort accommodation units. Accommodation in timeshare resorts, is specially suitable for families and small groups. Price of a timeshare depends on many factors. RCI designates the color red as a season of high demand, white as a season of average demand, and blue as a season of low demand. Interval International designates red as a season of high demand, yellow as a season of average demand, and green as a season of low demand. A red timeshare may be worth more than a green or yellow timeshare. The price of a timeshare is dependent upon a few different factors. If you plan on buying timeshare weeks, consider that these are priced according to a variety of elements, including time of year, location, resort amenities, and size of the unit. Some resorts will only sell timeshare points, and are usually priced per point. Additionally, a timeshare resale, buying from an old customer, costs much less, than one purchased directly from the resort developer. What is the difference between deeded, leased, and licensed timeshare? Most timeshare ownerships are either deeded or leased, for a specific number of years. Deeded timeshare, similar to a traditional real estate, or, housing, purchase, after you buy a deeded timeshare, you own it wholly, and solely. It may be sold, rented, or even willed to your heirs. There is no expiration date on a deeded timeshare. It is a perpetual contract. Timeshare ownership types Leased timeshare, leased timeshare, also called right to use, gives you the right to use a specific week or weeks, 
at the property for a set number of years, usually 20 to 99 years. The right to use, the property normally returns to the selling resort at the end of the lease period. If you buy a timeshare resale with a lease, be sure to ask how many years are left on the contract. Many resorts will let you renew the contract on the year it expires, but it is always a good idea to know before you make a purchase. Licensed Timeshare Generally, licensed timeshare requires joining a vacation club. By purchasing a membership to a vacation club, owners receive a number of points which, they can then use to purchase vacations at various resorts. Some of the most well-known vacation clubs include Disney Vacation Club, Marriott Vacation Club, and Hilton Grand Vacations Club. All the big names of hotel business have entered the timeshare market now. How does timeshare exchanging work? One of the best reasons to buy timeshares is the flexibility to exchange your week. As an owner, you can join a timeshare exchange company to trade your own week with other timeshare owners. This flexibility means that you may return to your home resort year after year or trade for any of the thousands of affiliated resorts throughout the world. You can even alternate back and forth between the two options. Timeshare Exchange The most popular timeshare exchange companies are, RCI, Interval International, and DAE. Some timeshare resorts have an internal exchange program, but most also offer the option to trade, using an external company, such as RCI or Interval International. Typically these third-party exchange companies require an additional membership fee, but give you the option to cancel or renew membership every year. The Big Three Names in Timeshare Exchange What are timeshare use periods? There are four major types of timeshare use periods. Fixed Weeks Buying a fixed week timeshare allows you the use of the unit, for that specific week each year, for as long as you own the property. Fixed weeks generally start on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Floating weeks, buying a floating week timeshare allows you to use the unit anytime during the year, based upon a resort's availability. Timeshare use period types. Rotating or flex week ownership. Some are sold as rotating weeks, commonly referred to as flex weeks. In an attempt to give all owners a chance for the best weeks, the weeks are rotated, forward or backward, through the calendar, so in year 1, the owner may have use of week 25, then week 26 in year 2, and then week 27 in year 3. This method gives each owner a fair opportunity for prime weeks, but unlike its name, it is not flexible. Points Programs Resort-based points programs are also sold as deeded, and as right to use. Points programs annually give the owner, a number of points, equal to the level of ownership. The owner in a points program can then use these points to make travel arrangements within the resort group. Many points programs are affiliated with large resort groups, offering a large selection of options for destination. Many resort point programs provide flexibility from the traditional week stay. Resort point program members, such as World Mark by Wyndham and Diamond Resorts International, may request from the entire available inventory of the resort group. Points work like currency. Each room or timeshare unit will have an assigned value in points. The buyer, who has enough points, can buy a room or other accommodation unit. The points are used for payment. Points Program A points program member may often request, fractional weeks, as well as, full or multiple week stays. The number of points required to stay at the resort in question will vary based on a points chart. 
The points chart will depend on factors such as, popularity of the resort, size of the accommodations, number of nights, desirability of the season etc. What is the difference between timeshare season colors? Each color reflects the overall desirability or, popularity of a particular week at a timeshare resort. In a sliding scale, from red, peak season, to green, off season. What is the difference between a timeshare and a hotel? A timeshare resort typically offers more space, and more amenities, than a traditional hotel. The average hotel room consists of a studio room with a small bathroom, and not much else. With a timeshare, you normally receive a condo-style unit with multiple bedrooms, bathrooms, a separate living room, dining area, and a full kitchen. Most timeshare resorts also feature an array of amenities on the grounds of the resort. A daily schedule of on-site sporting, recreational, and social activities are available for both adults and children. Methods of use of a timeshare? Own personal use, rent through a broker, website, or own contacts, gift to family or friends, exchange, internally, in same company properties, exchange, externally, through RCI and Interval International. Sell ownership, like a property, earn points, if you don't use it, to be exchanged for some other time, place, and product. Donate to charity, leave it in your last will for your children. History The term timeshare was coined in the United Kingdom, in the early 1960s, expanding on a vacation system that became popular after World War II. Vacation home sharing, also known as holiday home sharing, involved four European families that would purchase a vacation cottage jointly, each having exclusive use of the property for one of the four seasons. They rotated seasons each year, so each family enjoyed the best season equally. This concept was mostly used by related families because joint ownership requires trust, and no property manager was involved. However, few families vacation for an entire season at a time, so the vacation home sharing properties were often vacant for long periods. History of Timeshare Enterprising minds in England decided to go one step further, and divide a resort room into one by 50th ownership. 365 days divided by 7 days of a week equals 52 weeks. Have 2 weeks each year for repairs and upgrades, and charge a maintenance fee to each owner. It took almost a decade for timeshares in Europe to evolve into a smoothly run, successful, business venture. Now, one property had 50 joint owners, instead of the four. What is condominium concept? A condominium, often shortened to condo, is a type of real estate property, divided into several units, that are each separately owned, surrounded by common areas, that are jointly owned. Residential condominiums are frequently constructed as apartment buildings, but there has been an increase in the number of detached condominiums, like cottages, villas, and bungalows. Etymology Origin of the Word Condominium Condominium is a Latin word, formed by adding the prefix con, together, to the word dominium, domain, property, ownership. Its meaning is therefore shared property. Condominia, the plural of condominium in Latin, originally referred to territories, over which two or more countries share joint dominion. This technique was frequently used to settle border disputes, when multiple claimants could not agree on how to partition the disputed territory. For example, from 1818 to 1846, Oregon country was a condominium over which both the United States and Great Britain share joint sovereignty, before it joined the USA. Apartment versus Condominium Unlike apartments, which are leased by their tenants, 
condominium units are owned outright. Additionally, the owners of the individual units also collectively own the common areas of the property, such as hallways, walkways, laundry rooms, etc., as well as common utilities and amenities, such as the HVAC system, elevators, and so on. Many shopping malls are industrial condominiums in which the individual retail and office spaces are owned by the businesses that occupy them, while the common areas of the mall are collectively owned by all the business entities that own the individual spaces. The common areas, amenities, and utilities are managed collectively by the owners through their association, such as a homeowner association. Homeowners Association, HOA A homeowners association, HOA, whose members are the unit owners, manages the condominium through a board of directors, elected by the membership. This exists under various names, depending on the jurisdiction, such as unit title, sectional title, common hold, strata council, or tenant owners association, body corporate, owners corporation, condominium corporation or condominium association. Another variation of this concept is the timeshare, although not all timeshares are condominiums, and not all timeshares involve actual ownership of, i.e., deeded title to, real property. Condominium Hotels Condo hotels are a unique product, with a great future. The owner has complete ownership, no lease. Each owner can occupy or sell his unit through the professionally managed hotel company, and has to follow the rules laid by the hotel management. He can stay, after giving a short, formal notice to the company. Luxury condominiums are very popular investment in developed countries. Condo Hotels the owner of the condo hotel and hotel management company, split the income from rentals, on an agreed basis. The people who check into a condo hotel can be assured of the quality product, and services. The owner also leaves his botheration of managing a complex building to expert hoteliers. When the owner checks in, he can expect five-star treatment too. How Condominiums Are Managed Condominium document or master deed, bylaws, board of directors, owners association, annual maintenance fee, hired professionals or managers. Non-residential condominiums. Condominium ownership is also used, albeit less frequently, for non-residential land uses, offices, hotel rooms, retail shops, private airports, marinas, group housing facilities, retirement homes or dormitories, bare land, in British Columbia, and storage. The legal structure is the same, and many of the benefits are similar. For instance, a non-profit corporation may face a lower tax liability in an office condominium, than in an office rented from a taxable, for-profit company. However, the frequent turnover of commercial land uses in particular, can make the inflexibility of condominium arrangements problematic. Condominium Concept in India In India, condominiums are known as apartment buildings or flats. Each building consists of multiple floors and flats, with different configurations. The most common configurations are 1BHK, 2BHK and 3BHK. BHK stands for Bedroom Hall Kitchen. The Association of Homeowners is usually called a Cooperative Housing Society, CHS, which needs to be registered with the municipal authorities. Source Wikipedia Types of Accommodation, Timeshare The following are the types of accommodation available for the timeshare guests, apartments, 
studio units, or multi-room with kitchen or kitchenette, bungalows, villas, cottages, restored farmhouses, private residence clubs, second homes, condos, marina. Marina. A specially designed harbor, with moorings for pleasure yachts and small boats. A beautiful marina can be seen here. Size of accommodation. Sleeps two, two privately, sleeps four, two privately, sleeps six, four privately. Sleeps privately means a room with attached bath. Facilities in a timeshare room. Fully equipped kitchens, dining area, dishwasher machine, television, DVD players, washing machine, crockery, cutlery, cooking utensils etc. Facilities are for a family vacation. Advantages of timeshare The following benefits, a fast-growing tourism product, promotes all types of tourism, inbound, outbound and domestic tourism, high potential for employment opportunities, domestic tourism for India's tourism growth, full potential of domestic tourism to be exploited by industry and government partnership. Disadvantages of timeshare The following are the biggest disadvantage of the timeshare business is that it has still not organized well. A major portion of its cost is being spent on its marketing and merchandising. Critique of timeshare Overpriced, annual maintenance fee being too high, value of timeshare does not appreciate like real estate does, high pressure sales tactics, resale of timeshare is nearly impossible. What are timeshare maintenance fees? After you buy timeshare, there are some small, additional yearly expenses. Average maintenance fees range from $500 to $1,000 annually, and are the owner's shared cost of the upkeep of their own unit, as well as the common use grounds of the resort. Brands, International Disney Vacation Club, Embassy Suite, Four Seasons Hilton Grand Vacations, Hyatt Vacation Club, Marriott Vacation Club International, Sheraton, Holiday Inn Vacation Club. Domestic Brands in Indian Timeshare Market Club Mahindra, Fort Radisson, Holiday in Goa, Comet Group, LE Royal Meridian, Royal Resorts, Sterling Days Inn. You can find more information about timeshare industry in India on the website of AIRDA. Timeshare Rating System What is the difference between a 5-star resort and a gold crown resort? These titles refer to ratings from timeshare exchange companies. A 5-star resort is the most desirable rating appointed to a resort in the Interval International System, while a gold crown resort is the most desirable rating in the Resort Condominium International RCI, system. Mixed-use properties The scenario describes timeshare in a hotel environment. Mixed-use facilities have been soaring in popularity since the mid-1990s. Integrated golf courses, restaurants, swimming pools, etc. with a hotel and timeshare component, to maximize revenue returns. Marriott, Disney, Hyatt, Starwood, Four Seasons, Ritz-Carlton, and Hilton are companies, adding the timeshare concept to their hotel businesses. A proposed mixed-use building. It will have hotel rooms and offices. Advantages of mixed-use properties. Leverage hotel brand names, and create cross-utilization opportunities between traditional hotel products and timeshare services and products. Create stability and profitability. Customers pay a sizable lump sum in advance. Customers pay an annual contribution. Less affected by a downturn in the economy, than conventional resort hotels. Help lower marketing, operational, and development costs, and maximize the yield of the operation, 
through shared assets and staff. What are referral chains? Referral chains are the groups of independent hotels, that come together under a common brand. For example, Best Western Group. These owners of independent hotels, to compete with powerful chains of hotels, create a common reservation system, CRS, and follow common brand standards. The cost of marketing, branding and common reservation system is shared by all. Compilation and Presentation Praveen Jot, Senior Faculty, IHM Hajipur, Vaishali, Bihar